Hi everyone, this is Maverick Pond, the Chemistry Guru. Now, in this video, we want to discuss the suggested solution for 2020 A-Levels H2 Chemistry Paper 1, Question 4. So let's take a look at Question 4. Now, the table shows the boiling points of three alkanes. So pentane boiling point is 36 degrees C, 2 methyl butane at 28 degrees Celsius, 2 dimethyl propane at 10 degrees Celsius. So what is responsible for the differences in boiling points for these three alkanes? So we will want to run through the options subsequently. But let us talk about the concept that we need to handle this particular question. Now, if I want to compare boiling points for alkenes, of course, the topic that we should be focusing on is under intermolecular forces, comparing the intermolecular forces of simple molecules. Now, we do need to look at the structure of pentane, 2-methylbutane and 2,2-dimethylpropane, and we see the differences between them because we know that we have a few different types of intermolecular forces, IDID, PDPD, and hydrogen bond. So the first thing we have to do is we have to identify, okay, what is the dominant type of intermolecular force for each of these simple molecules. Now, pentane, 2-methylbutane, and 2,2-dimethylpropane they are actually all non-polar species, they are alkenes, because carbon-carbon bond is non-polar, carbon-hydrogen bond is also non-polar, so the entire molecule will be non-polar, and therefore the dominant intermolecular interaction for each of them should be non-polar interactions. So some of us will call this instantaneous dipole, induced dipole interaction, some of us will call this dispersion forces, some of us will call this van der Waals forces, but they are all targeting interaction between non-polar molecules. So in this case, or in this video, I will refer to this as IDID interaction or IDID attraction. Now if I compare pentane, 2-methylbutane and 2,2-dimethylpropane, you will notice that actually they are isomers of each other, but they are chain isomers of each other, uh, meaning they have the same number of carbon and hydrogen. The only difference is based on the way that the carbon chain is arranged. So pentane, this is a straight chain 5 carbon, 2-methylbutane, the longest carbon chain, it is 4 carbon, but I have a methyl group to position 2. Then 2-2-dimethylpropane, all together I'll have 3 carbons and I'll have 2 methyl groups, both to carbon position 2. So they have 5 carbons in total, and so therefore they should have the same number of carbon and hydrogen, and we can call them chain isomers of each other. Now let us consider the factors affecting IDID attraction. That means what are the factors that will affect the interaction between non-polar species? There are two factors that we will have to consider. The first one is the electron cloud size. The second idea, it is the branching and the surface area for molecular interaction. So size of the electron cloud, it is pretty simple. If you have a bigger electron cloud, and the electron cloud will be more polarizable, so therefore your IDID will be stronger and this means that the boiling point will be higher. So if I'm comparing molecules of two different sizes, the molecule with a bigger electron cloud size will have a more polarizable electron cloud, stronger IDID, more energy required to overcome the attraction between that molecule. So the boiling point for that molecule will be higher if it is bigger in terms of size. The second idea, it is the branching and the surface area for molecular interaction. So if the molecule is more highly branched, then it will be more spherical. If it is more spherical, you have a smaller surface area for molecular interaction with its neighbors, which means that the IDID will be weaker. In turn, this will mean that the boiling point will be lower. Now, what is important is, between these two factors, we have to know which factor is more important, which factor is less important. Which factor do we consider first? Which factor we consider later? Size is more important. So if there's a difference in size, we always look at size. Bigger electron cloud size, more polarizable, stronger IDID. Higher boiling point, correct? But if the size is exactly the same, then we will look at surface area for molecular interaction, and we look at the extent of branching, which is, you notice in this case, what we are doing here for pentane versus 2-methylbutane and 2 2 dimethylpropane, because the number of carbon is the same and the number of hydrogen is the same. So therefore, they'll have the same electron cloud size. So therefore, this factor number one 
becomes non-relevant because they have the same electron cloud size and therefore we will have to look at the surface area for molecular interaction. Now let us consider the four options and we see which is our best answer here. What is responsible for the differences in boiling points for A? Different number of carbon-carbon bonds. Now this is total rubbish, right? If I consider the number of carbon-carbon bonds, it is not important for us to explain the physical properties involving boiling point. So A is not relevant at all. We can ignore that. Now how about B? Different relative molecular masses. Now actually it does affect boiling points, but we have considered this previously. If there's a difference in molar masses, then the a molecule with a bigger MR will have a bigger electron cloud, which is more polarizable, and the ID ID will be stronger. But since our pentane, 2 metal butane, and 2 2 dimethyl propane, they have the same number of carbon, the MR will be the same, and the electron cloud size will also be the same. So this is a factor affecting melting point or boiling points of non polar species. But for this comparison, the electron cloud size is exactly the same, so it doesn't come in for this question here. Now how about C? Weaker hydrogen bonding between branched chain molecules. Again, this is not relevant because if my molecule is non-polar, dominant intermolecular interaction will be ID-ID attraction. It wouldn't be hydrogen bond. So C is definitely out. Finally, D. Stronger induced dipole attractions between straight chain molecules. So let us consider this. Uh, why D is the best answer? Because pentane, it is straight chain. So the extent of branching is less and you have a bigger surface area for molecular interaction. So the interaction with the neighbors will be stronger, ID ID will be stronger, and that will explain the higher boiling point. Now conversely, if I consider 229 metal propane, which is highly branched, so if it is highly branched, it will be more spherical. If it is more spherical, the surface area will be smaller and the interaction with the neighbor will be less by virtue of its shape and if there's a smaller surface area for interaction with a neighbor, the ID ID will be weaker. In turn, it will cause the boiling point to be lower. So if I consider all these four different options, uh, of course, the best answer that will explain the differences in the boiling point for this question will be option D. All right, so that was the discussion involving 2020 A-Levels H2 Chemistry Paper 1 Question 4. So if you have learned something useful from this video, Please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. I'll see you next week.